Hey buddy, it's Victor. It's time for another right here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit. Welcome to the first day of December. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us only seven away from the like streak goal of the Blind Glitch Chaos Run. And I'm looking forward to that, as well as looking forward to showing you today's meme of the day, brought to you by Yo-Yo K, which also rhymed. Battlefield was just simply... <laughs> POV, the map on Floor 3, Episode 875. And for those of you who watched that episode, you know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah. I uh, don't know how exactly my brain works, but it is always funny to see it translated to image. So thank you very much, yo yo -K. I mean, look, it looked like a dog with a really long nose. What can I say? The only thing that would have made that uh, that meme of the day like even funnier, because I did laugh at it genuinely, uh, would have been the fact that like if the dog had a really bad Photoshop nose, like a really, really long nose. Uh, Juliet X-Ray, Romeo, Quebec, Zulu 7, Foxtrot, Zulu. We've got Sharp Plug, good shot speed, horrible tears rate, uh, and decent movement speed. We also have the Kidney Bean, which, as you just saw right there, has a very pathetic range of uh, charming. But at least we have over four damage to start with and good shot speed. That's, that's something. Uh, Kidney Bean is going to basically do this, and it charms enemies. Um if they are assuming that they're in within range, which most of the time they are not. Because again, the activation range of Kidney Bean is quite pathetic. Um, we're also starting with two red hearts. And again, you know, our movements, our movement speed's good. Our, it's just our tears rate. Our tears rate is really what's uh, kind of kind of bumming me out here. Look at that, Kidney Bean, the charm effect doing work on everything in here. So, you know, again, with Kidney Bean and with any charm effect, if you can make it work, it, it does wonders, as you're just seeing right here. It, it does absolute gangbusters for you. But most of the time, especially with Kidney Bean, you got to get real close. Now, hang on a second now. Now, we're going to be talking about some Keeper Sack. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to waste the, the opportunity to get this here. So, most likely, we would just have to we would just have to buy Diplopia and then use use it on Keeper Sack. Um, Keeper Sack gives us it gives us hope. Uh, would love to have gotten all that money, so maybe we shouldn't have. Okay, we we have to we have to get these bombs. This is what this whole bomb, this is what this this whole play is for right here. We we've got to get these bombs here, and we're going to. We got actually way more than that. And on top of that, we also get the swallowed penny, which is going to be good for us. So, okay, so we're going to be able to get. Uh, at least I hope we're going to be able to get keeper sack. Now we have not even found the item room yet, but this will at least. Get us very close. We're only two cents off of Keeper Sack, which is awesome. Again, if we really, 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 truly wanted to, we could bomb ourselves here. Um, we're, we're going to get it. Like, there, there's no way that we don't get it. So, I just w temporarily switched over there to the Burnt Penny so we could get a couple extra bombs, which we were able to do. Obviously, with the Womb Room there, it would be nice if we end up finding a Sack Room and we get a, a first floor Planetarium. Okay. Uh, sure. Sure. Saturnus is uh, Saturn bad. However, there are blue fires in here, which we can at least try to get the money out of here, and we are going to be able to do that. So, good, 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 good. Um, let's go... Well, I did not want to go into a big room. Go back and get the HP here. So, of course, we... <laughs> of course the game is going to make us go through the biggest possible room imaginable for us to just get to our item room. And uh, then you, now you know it's going to troll me by giving me the room that has only only full charges in there, thereby making my my trip back to the uh, to the womb room just totally useless. Secret room might be there, but I'm not entirely sure. Must be to the right of there. Actually, it's actually a little bit more likely it's there. Five bombs we can definitely check, but right now our main priority is just getting into the item room, seeing what's in there, and then uh, yeah, going from there. So. Now, could we have tapped something else to have gotten us uh, one extra penny? Yes, we could have. Am I going to do that? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to buy Diplopia. Why are we buying Diplopia instead of buying uh, Keeper Sack? Well, basically because we can do that. We can get the Soul Heart anyway, plus this Tarot card uh, that we would not have gotten. And we get a Hermit card. Look at that. All right. So I'm not going to take that Soul Heart just yet because, again, I want to make sure that we have a fresh Soul Heart going into the, ne into the next floor. We do need to still go over and find our uh, find our item room. <coughs> oh, wow, it is there. Okay. And, yep. Yeah. Sure as the day is long, I was absolutely 100% correct about 
the game making me look like a fool for going all the way back over there just to troll us with the full charge rum rum room why is the rum gone um so we get aries and if we get one more cent that's going to give us a that's going to give us enough money for us to get that soul heart which will give us an opportunity to get a little bit of extra stats and look at that we are able to get it so happy days are bound This is a very we we had to go we had to do a lot of crisscrossing on this uh, on this floor here floor one. We're finally ready to go fight the boss. It's gonna be haunt, so we can at least nuke the little haunts with kidney bean. Or not? All right. The black haunt is not exactly the easiest haunt, I would say. And because he can still he can still shoot, but most of the time he he just spawns spiders and they can be annoying, especially if you don't have the movement speed to deal with uh, with them. But of course we get the black haunt that's just going to be firing over and over and over again, again thereby proving me just wrong every single time. Which is fine. I mean, if you want to keep firing like that, there you go. Yeah. So that's what he normally does. Remember, he's not trying to make me look like a fool. Just blocked by the middle rock there. Uh, with Ares, with Ares, this movement speed, as long as we don't get too close to him, we should be able to dodge pretty much anything that he fires at us. You're seeing here this lack of tears rate is really, really, really starting to become apparent. And uh, the lack of range as well. Honestly, 5.06 range is quite pathetic. This is the least spideriest haunt that I think I've ever seen. We get Glass Eye, which is going to give us some nice damage. Um... I think maybe I can move this over. Okay, we cannot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step on the spikes, then grab the soul heart. Uh, that way we are able to not damage the soul heart. And then we're going to go to the shop, pick up that soul heart that we duplicated with Diplopia, buy the other soul heart, and then finally we are ready to go down on the second floor. Ooh, that, that was a process. Kidney, uh, or not kidney stone, but... Uh, uh, Keeper Saxon gave us a 0.71 damage upgrade. That was just... <laughs> so rejoice, everybody. We have a floor one Keeper Sack. I'm ready. There's our obligatory sack room after we, we unfortunately get rid of our... Uh, our womb room, so... But before we go any further here, go back to last... Week's episode of uh, Isaac, where it was the Black Friday episode, obviously. And we, of course, use the South Park reference because, you know, I know that Alex probably doesn't watch South Park, and I'm almost sure he doesn't. But um, I basically said, hey, do this, but as Isaac and Isaac's mom. So if those of you who didn't catch the reference there, uh, or at least I, I, a lot of people did catch the reference, but they may have missed the fact that uh, the mom who was on that news report for the Black Friday episode of South Park I uh, was dressed like Isaac's mom. You may you may not have caught it, so definitely go back and watch that one. Um, but I simply asked, what is your take on the D-Infinity? Obviously, the D-Infinity was a very pivotal... Uh, we just got a dime from Swallow Penny. I guess that's worth taking a hit for. Uh, it was a very pivotal uh, item in that run. Uh, I'm going to use the Hermit card after... I get... Well, I guess we could go into the curse room, but I really don't want to use a half soul heart. But if there's if there's ever been a time for us to, I guess, save a soul heart, this would be it. So anyway, going over to last week's question, question of the episode, I simply asked, what is your take on the D-Infinity? The most upvoted comment came in from Mello, who said it's, a, it's stupid good. I think it's spin down equal. It's spin down equal for best dice. The D-Infinity is very versatile, while spin down is kind of like the Chaos D6. And yeah, I, I agree with that. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't argue with that. The Chaos D6 is a good way to put that. So, uh, the, I mean, the D-Infinity is just, it, it is, it screams versatility, right? There's no other dice in the game that allows you to have as many options as the D-Infinity gives you. Um, you know, from re-rolling rocks to re-rolling Isaac to re-rolling items. I mean, anything and everything is on the table when it comes to the D-Infizzle. I am not going to take Thunder Thighs because I do not want my movement speed to be uh, destroyed this early on, even though it would give us the stompy effect. I am, however, going to go into the cursed room and uh, see if we can get something out of here. Okay, we profit half of a soul heart. Go over to the shop. 
Uh, we could buy the boomerang. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and re-roll here. I do want to take red candle just because it's just flat out better than kidney bean. I'm sorry, kidney bean lovers out there. Trying to get a premium item if we can. Uh, we get another soul heart. Yeah, you know what? This is fine. Look at that. More damage. More. We do finally get some range here. And uh, one more one more cent. We're able to get a soul heart and some more some more stats. Look at that. 0.25 range. Mm, I, uh, man, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, how much more can I say about Keeper Sack? I, uh, everyone knows what Keeper Sack does. It's just that universally recognized OP item. You know, it's just it's just good. It's it is just the best item in the shop that you can get, in my opinion. So the second most upvoted comment came in from Casual YouTuber, uh, who I'm gonna have to have read in a moment because I didn't realize we were fighting Widow. Uh, who said the D-Infinity is one of my favorite active items in the game, has all the dice, and with that power, you can basically make the game sit and watch as you dominate the run. Uh, while it's while it's no run winner on its own, it can lead to many powerful runs. The only bummer is no spin-down die. Sincerely, the Poke Go guy. I would disagree saying that it's not a run winner on its own. <laughs> um, I think that is a slightly inaccurate statement because I think that you could absolutely win with just the D-Infinity, just based on how many things you have control over. Uh, we could, we need, we do need some keys. So let's go back to the secret room real quick. Make some keys here. I, obviously we're not, we are not going to be getting boss rush in this run. I, I think that is a, that is just going to be a fact. Um, got the tarot card in there so we can get one more extra key. You never know where these keys are going to be coming in handy. Here we go. Yeah, I think the D infinity is absolutely I, I think it is powerful enough oh, it's all ten, a double tended rock to win a run by itself just because you can just re-roll into anything on top of that you have like you know item re-rolls last but not least the third most upvoted comment came from Todd Winkler 5158 who said good item because it gives you a lot of options uh, to better your run re-rolls re-rolls on stats items Pickups, rocks, etc. And yeah, they, basically what I just got done saying. Um, it is, it is just, it is just the all-in-one solve it item, right? Like if you have a problem, it solves it. We would not have been able to make that dodge if we did not have Ares. Gonna take Book of the Dead here. Now we do want to get some money, um, so if we can somehow get like a Temperance machine or something like that, that'd be great. Or we can just simply just get two cents and nothing else. That's fine, too. We have more keys than bombs. Um, yeah, we should go the long way. With only one bomb, you never know if this one bomb is going to come in handy, right? I mean, how many times have we seen it just this past week where we just needed one bomb? To open up the doors for us. Figuratively, not literally. Go you know, Five cents is good enough for us to buy, like, a soul heart or something like that. Again, the whole... Objective here is just to get as much money as possible so we can start feeding ourselves some stats, uh, doing exactly what we would have been doing anyway, which is just simply buying things out of the store. So I wouldn't mind getting the blue map. Um, we can only see the full map right now because we just use the Ansa's rune. If we can get maybe... Oh, we get more soul hearts and more soul hearts. There we go. So we are able to at least get the... Um, the sack in here, which is going to give us more stats and yeah, 0.53 damage upgrade and 0 0.03 movement speed upgrade. I mean, it just, it just works y'all. It's just, it, it is the, it is the absolute run carrier, right? And I'm not, not like an aircraft carrier. I mean, it just, it carries your runs like no other. If you play your cards, right? You manage your money wisely. You're able to, if you find a lot of money that you can do, you know, you, you can make smart decisions with your money in the game. You will be rewarded heavily by Keeper Sack. So the concussive poop here just to slow down the dark grub from getting to us. Then we're just going to use Red Candle. Help supplement our damage a little bit. So it, all, basically all we are is just one Temperance Machine away from just absolutely blowing the lid off of this run. Because that gives us enough money to re-roll, gives us enough money to buy even more expensive items, which gives us even more stats, yada, yada, yada. 
Backstabber doing work here. We are going to get some range. And uh, I think our range stat's pretty much taken care of now, game. I do want to go into the super secret room, though, uh, as it does have a high chance of giving us a some form of, of tapping vendor, some sort of some sort of of blood machine, if you will. Next time we're going Mr. Universe and all these spiders over here. I just got to look for the middle of the screen, which is about right there. And oh, OK, but I would have preferred a, a temperance machine, but we do get a soul heart, so we're looking good. And Curse the Blind. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen the green flies just detonate like that. That was very strange. It just instantly detonated. Um, one of the few times that I think the Blessed Penny gets outshined here by the Swallowed Penny just because of, we, of our need to just have, to, to just get tons of money. Um, now, I say that, but if we end up finding, like, Mom's purse or some way of having two trinkets, then we are really in business. We are almost immortal at that point. Uh, because having the Blessed Penny pop off along with the Swallow Penny is just... Mm, I, li I like that idea a lot. One bomb to get a bomb. Unfortunately, we don't have a bomb to get that bomb, so we can't get the bomb for one bomb. Again, a sack room would be pretty nice here, but Curse of Blind kind of kind of puts a little little turd in the punch bowl for us. Never a good thing. More money. So, do we buy blind items? Normally, I would say no. I would if they were on the way, right? Um, but with it being a blind item floor, I'm not gonna let. I'm just not gonna let the game have its have its freedom. It's freedom to troll us. It's not gonna happen. I, however, have the freedom to not go to the store and say, you know what, game, you can give me a blind item. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna play your game. I will go to a floor that respects me as a player. HP upgrade here, and uh, yeah, I. I refuse. I, I just, I, I flat out refuse. Uh, could there have been a guppy item in there? Sure, there could have been a guppy item. Uh, there could have been the mark. There could have been, you know, there could have been a lot of things that we could have needed in there. But we'll never find out. Unless you play the seed. Yeah, that's where that's where the that's where the 3D 3D chess thinking gets you here. This world of YouTube and algorithmic expressions. You know, it does he does he do these things on purpose to drive engagement in the comments? Does he try to make people go back and play the seeds and then comment later? All these things and more on the next exciting episode of Finding of Isaac Repentance. I do enjoy all the uh all, I, I do I do enjoy the conspiracy theories. They are they are funny to me. You know, how how we the the funniest I still think the funniest one was the the fact that I purposely go into the wrong directions because it's mathematically impossible to go and find as many dead ends as I do uh to boost the watch time of the videos. That one was a good one. Man, I wish I wish I could I wish I understood YouTube on that level. Yeah, see, we can't hit you when you're there, bro. I will not waste a bomb there, Q. Okay, okay, we're getting slowly getting up to premium level. Now we did also get Sanguine Bond uh, from that uh, from that what was that curse room? And Sanguine Bond, you know, in this situation, I think is definitely warranted. It gives us a chance to get some money. Obviously, we can use our excess HP to get other th other stuff, other stuff. Um, 
And then combined with the fact that we have Swallowed Penny obviously means that we can turn it into more money, which allows us to get even more stuff from Keeper Sack and that sort of stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. We continue to explore the entire map here. I mean, yeah, well, we gotta we gotta keep up with the with the watch time. We gotta really bolster that that watch time for people here on YouTube. I swear to you, I did not even see that that was a spike rock up there. Even though it was just sitting right there this entire time. And we are still looking for our item room in our shop. It's also a double treble floor, so <coughs> gotta get ready for that. And there's a sacrifice room. So there's a lot of options here. Obviously, the big option is for us to just go play the sack room instead of having to depend upon a Sanguine Bond. Really, really, really would love a tears upgrade at any point. I also would really love to find, like, our shop, our item room. Even though Keeper Sack can't give you a tears upgrade, I mean, it can't do everything. Although it would be cool if it did. Um, yeah, it, it's tier, a tears upgrade now is the thing that's holding us back. And that's the one thing that Keeper Sack cannot assist us with. Spider, I mean, Spider Bite's good. You know, giving giving us the slowing shot. I get maybe a soul heart out of that skull there. Not that we really need it. Uh, I am planning on playing the Sack Room, though. Because either way, we're either going to go all the way and get seven soul hearts or we're going to get 30 cents. Either way, it just that translates to good for us. Translates to just a good time. Assuming, of course, there's no greed fight in our store. And there's a greed fight. All right. All right. And I forgot that we had sharp plug, so. I think sharp, sharp plug would take from the red hearts, right? does okay we can actually use sharp plug to get this eternal heart now is it going to take my eternal heart away i bet it does i'm not going to give it i'm not going to give it the chance well no i bet it doesn't yeah it doesn't okay but then we walked over the spikes anyway good job Sinvicta. way to go brilliant it's too busy watching the Watching our HP to see whether or not it had taken away from our uh, Eternal Heart here. The fun thing is that we're just going to lose the Eternal Heart anyway because, like, we don't have any more Soul Hearts to shield it with. Get Redemption. Um, yeah. This will... Even if we even if we fill this Red Heart container now, um, it's going to take away from our Eternal Heart, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Go down to a half heart here. We get 30 cents. So again, assuming that we don't get a, uh, a bad shop on the next floor, this will indeed give us a lot. And I mean a lot of buying power. Um, would love to would love to get the, if we could, we could get a good devil deal here. Like nine lives would be like perfect. Eh, we don't need the other, we don't need the other half heart. It's double chub. At least we got this huge room to fight up in. These 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 girls would have been a little bit a little bit tricky in a small room. The size of like the greed the greed floor here. There we go. And we didn't get a uh, double deal anyway or angel deal, but we did get Binky, which is going to finally give us a much needed tears up. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we don't want to go into the curse room right now. Um, I think that would be a little bit folly. There's the full card there, but 
Obviously, we've missed boss rush by quite a lot. Uh, now, if there's a sack room or if we end up using uh, Sanguine Bond, we could potentially... Could potentially get into the boss trap room. Maybe get another red heart, which wouldn't be too bad for Sanguine Bond. Um, or Sharp Plug, for that matter. But we're not really, really using Sharp Plug at all right now. We're not really using anything right now. This has just been like pure, like, like even Backstabber hasn't really had to, had a chance to really shine on this run. I mean, it Backstabber did well against Double Chub, obviously, but it's not really, it's not really shining like it us usually does. Wow, we got stuck on that corner. That is, that is the type of inexcusable damage that you, know, you, you cannot have happen. There's no excuse for that. Hence the term inexcusable. Lots of money here. Lots and lots of money. We get justice as well. Oh, baby. We are up to 99 cents. And who's ready for a greed fight? Okay, well. We don't get a reroll. Pedestal, unfortunately. I didn't actually mean to use that, but we got a full charge anyway here. We get a reverse moon card. Okay. We get an Emperor card. Nice. Okay, so we ended up we ended up doing okay. So would have much preferred to have uh, some kind of reroll pedestal in there. We ended up getting Red Stew, which is also a very nice upgrade for us. As uh, that does give us a <laughs> this gives us a huge amount of damage, although it is a temporary damage buff. Um, that we can extend by killing enemies, so the more enemies we kill, the longer the buff extends for. I'm not going to go into the item room just because there's literally no reason for us to do that. Um, we know it's the remote, and uh, yeah, we do not want to use the clicker. We keep that quarter game. Okay, so I think what we do here, we do need more HP at this point. Um, I'm not comfortable with going down to one part on this run. I am a little bit peeved that we, we really, I mean, we did get a lot out of Keeper's Sack, but it didn't translate to a lot of items for us, like a lot of premium items. That greed floor on, on floor five really kind of sunk us a little bit. My God. Go use the Bible. Let's go destroy mom real quick. It's not, uh, not even mess with it. You get a soul heart and Pogatory. Pogatory and Lusty Blood. Um, or Bloody Lust, I mean. I'm going to go Pogatory. That is going to ruin our... That is, that is going to ruin our... Uh, our uh, redemption. I also like totally forgot that we had that Emperor card, so... Yeah, that's my bad Emperor card. Well, now we have the Bible. And another Curse of the Blind. For some reason, I thought that we had held... <clears throat> I thought that we had held on to the Fool card. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if I would have rather had the Bible or the Candle at this point. I would maybe the candle, but it is nice having the free mom kill, obviously. Golden bomb out of nowhere. Uh, and having the, the on-demand flying is also kind of nice in case we absolutely need it. But the red candle, man, red candle, it does wonders for us. Now, again, I am not, I am not totally comfortable in this run right now. Like we're, we've got lots of damage. However, we do not have the HP to feel good. Hopefully that we just get another Emperor card here. And that would have been made even worse had we end up getting a Devil Deal on that floor that uh, was going to be expensive. Like, we we sort of lucked out in that we got a very good but very cheap Devil Deal form of Purgatory. Um, Bloody Lust would have been fine, but I'd still think that 
I still think that, you know, if you go down to 1 HP anyway, then you can't take a lot of damage to take advantage of Bloody Lust in the first place. So there's no reason to take it, in my opinion. That would be like a future-proofing a future proofing item that we don't have a future of right now. Um, this future is very, very much in question on this run. Now, Conquest Pony, on the other hand... Now you're, you're speaking my language here. Because, yes, why... Yes, why I do want... Yes, while I do want the free kill with with the Bible and Mom, uh, Conquest Pony, on the other hand, gives us a Mom Killer plus flying. So, yeah. Yeah, having cracked the Skizzle with, uh, with the Flying Pony and Conquest Pony is very good. Um, we, we might as well just go take the Magician card. We are still losing out on our Red Stew buff. And, uh, you know, it's... It's probably better than HP upgrade, but it's debatable. But this is this is one of those runs where, you know, you now's when it gets down to the, the nitty gritty because we cannot afford to take bad damage. And we have got to utilize what the game has given us at this point. And right now we Again, we've got the damage. We've got the we've got the tools to win this run. It just comes down to how well can we execute, stay mobile, and uh, avoid bad damage and mistakes. And we've made a couple of mistakes. I say we, but I. I have made a few mistakes in this run. Not taking that Emperor card was definitely going to be the biggest one. <laughs> Excuse me, dead at number one. And we can use Conquest Point to get out of the Curse Room, and that's definitely worth it for us because we can get in there for free. We get a full card so we can teleport out in case we need to anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold on to the full card. Because we can use the full card in case we do get in trouble and we have to go fight a boss trap room, we can at least use the full card to get out of there. Um, we're going to use the Magician card against Mom first, though. There's a blast assist. There's multiple blast assists. What the heck? Now, another kind of caveat here is our ability to not use the space bar item. Or not use the space bar, I should say, physically. Uh, because we have sharp plug. And sharp plug can and will kill you. So there, there's multi-levels of danger on this run is what I'm trying to say here. Got to be real cautious not to double tap that space bar item. Purgatory, I'm deeply disappointed in your choice of placement here. So the red the red stew buff is officially gone now. Okay, I'm gonna save the full charge and we get a dead end. Alright. Alright! Gotta gotta boost that engagement numbers, everybody. Gotta, gotta get that up there. Alright. All right. Watch time is super important. Do you think that taking Conquest Pony was the absolute right call? Um, because, yes, it is, it is not going to help us that much against Mom's heart. But you, but you got to think about the long term here. Think about Isaac. Think about Blue Baby on 2 HP with, uh, you know... With good stats outside of our tiers, our tiers rate is what's is what's really bumming me out here. Our tiers rates is, is bringing me down. Judgment now, Judd. <sighs> a regular judgment would have been great for HP. If it was a regular judgment, which it was not. Um, there are plenty of hearts on the floor, however, to make the sacrifice room actually doable. But it's risky. We gotta, we gotta kill blue, blue peep. We gotta lay the dunk down on blue peep. Okay, so that is a huge soul heart. We could either take the soul heart now or wait and play the sack room, and then 
uh, take it to go fight uh, Mom's Heart. That was a very good dodge, by the way. Another fool card. How many hearts are on this floor? You can tap once, twice, three, four. Five. Six. So there's six, six total taps that we can do, which is halfway there, assuming that we don't get any more hearts or soul hearts for the rest of the floor or HP upgrades, which I'm going to go check the... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go check the... Uh, the boss trap room right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use we might because like we're going to tap anyway. So we can use one of our hearts. We gain access into the boss trap room, and then we can use the full card to get out of there. Hoping, hoping, hoping that it is an HP upgrade. That's really all I want at this point. I don't even care about the tears rate. We just want HP. And it's divorce papers, which is not HP, but it kind of is because it does give us a bone heart now. It also gives us protection from dying. Okay, so now the question becomes, do we go fight the boss now, or do we wait? I think we wait because, potentially speaking, we could leave We could leave here with an angel deal, which would give us a lot more HP, right? But one thing we do not want to do <coughs> is we do not want to sacrifice this bone heart. Um, now, what's cool about the bone hearts are with red with half heart with half red hearts is that they you can tap a sacrifice room without losing the bone heart on half of a red heart. So you essentially, in a weird roundabout way, you essentially get the tap for half price, right? Um, which is very very useful. Okay, there's our sixth tap, so we have a 33 percent chance to teleport the angel deal room. Um, this is going to fill the bone heart, and then we're going to go back. And we do... <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. We probably should have seen that one coming. Sensor is, uh, really, really not great. Um, so now what we do is we, we still want to continue to tap on the sack room here, but the priority is now killing mom. i take that. Let's go beat mom's heart, or it lives, and uh, and then we reevaluate. What would be great is if there was just like a couple more red hearts that dropped. That will be satisfied. We also have not found the super secret room yet, which maybe could be here. No, it can't be there. Yeah, we don't want to use Conquest Pony until after the eye lasers are done. We could have probably ripped it right at the beginning there, but we just we don't want to. There we go. We already know it's an angel deal. We don't care. And okay, now it sucks that we did take damage, but this gives us an opportunity to maybe, maybe, maybe finish off the sack room, which would be huge. Okay, there's our... There's our... Uh, I don't remember if Rotten Hearts count that way. Um, we do get the Reverse Emperor card, which won't actually do anything for us, I don't think. It could give us a... I mean, I guess it could technically give us an HP upgrade. Hey, let's calm it down there. Calm it down there, Pogatory. We get Swarm Protector. I'm almost... I'm almost sure that this is going to remove the bone heart. If it doesn't, then I will have learned something today. I've learned something today. I've learned that rotten hearts can be used in bone hearts as uh, basically hearts. 
That's good, because that means that we can finish off tapping this uh, sack room here. A very long-winded way of doing all this stuff, but honestly, like, this is one of those times where it was just necessary. Might as well, I mean, we might as well kill Mr. Fred. Um, it wouldn't have done anything on the next floor. Look at that, we do get an HP upgrade. So, yeah, that Reverse Emperor card really, really helping us out here. So, um, I think that this is definitely the play of the game right here. Even though we didn't get anything out of it, um, except Swarm Protector, I still think that, that was the play of the game. We needed to do something like that in a run that I really honestly wasn't feel too, feeling too comfortable. But now that we've got a little bit of a little bit of extra help, uh, HP wise, we should be okay. I hope. Where's the maze? I mean, we're really going. Like, we had to do, we had to pull out all the stops on that last floor there to make that happen. So, and I feel good about it, but let's not get it twisted. We are not, uh, this, this one ain't over yet. We are definitely stronger, but we're not out of this. Now, I'm hoping that we get a bunch more red hearts on this floor. I'm not going to waste all of our bombs in here. If we can manage to get enough red hearts... We, and there's, of course, the sacrifice room. We could potentially do the exact same thing we did on the last floor. And then really push our chances over the uh, edge of survival here. There's a soul heart. Very satisfying little streak there by, uh, Aquest Pony. Okay, Lover's Card, again, it, it gives us a little bit more taps. This is assuming that we find a Sacrifice Room, which right now I have no indication of there being one. That was a great block by Swarm Protector. Okay, another Red Heart, cool. Now, you might be wondering, hang on a second, buddy. Why not just pick up Steam Sale? Literally no reason for you not to. Uh, it's not tried, It's not quite true there, Cletus. So the the thing is that if we end up getting a reroll, like with a, a D6 or something like that, or I don't know, like a dice shard, um, it would allow us to have an item pedestal reroll inside the cathedral, which has not happened a lot. Get another red heart there. So, yeah. So actually, there is a reason for us not to reroll or not to take the esteem sale. That coupled with the fact that like we're probably not going to see any more shops for the rest of this run. Yeah, that would be a good old-fashioned uh, Isaac Circle right there. Now, is this the right or the wrong way to go? It is the... We don't know way to go yet. Four red hearts. It was the absolute wrong way to go. All right. I don't want to use the chariot card unless we absolutely have to. Like, if we get really, really, really dangerously low on HP... Didn't actually want to take that rotten heart, but, but we did. Uh, check the curse room real quick. All right. There we go. Another a successful full clear here. How does he do it? 93 cents. Definitely would love to have another HP upgrade. At this point, we just, we're kind of just like praying that we see either a Joker card so we can maybe get some use out of Sanguine Bond or just a regular old sack room would be nice. There we go. HP upgrade is secured. Um, I will take the Empress card. But I don't think we're going to... At least I hope we don't need the Chariot card. Not mean to hit the Space Bride on there. Uh, 
Oh, there's another one. Apparently there's another one. Two. I have plenty of keys, so might as well go check this one. And it's a full character reroll, which... We do have a lot of items that aren't doing anything for us, but at this point, I do not trust the game in giving us anything that we could need. So... That we just had to, you know, we had, we had to finish out the full clear. I mean, we got to get that, got to get that watch time up. Um, a sharp plug only takes half of a red heart here with a two a two room cooldown item. So we could theoretically just spam it again against Isaac. I think. Yeah, it was actually one full heart. We did get an eternal heart, though, thanks to Swarm Protector. And uh, let's go back and uh, get some of those red hearts filled. Um, my God, look at all the tarot cards here from uh, Ace of Spades. Hey, Ace of Spades, you've been you've been doing well for us. You've been doing well. I'm I'm happy with the, the job you've been you've been up to. That, that shows heart, son. Like that. If you look at the look at the map right now, see all those tarot cards. You know what I see there? I see hustle. I, I see I see someone who's looking to make a big time play, big time name for themselves. That's what I see. Other other coaches they may not see that, but I see that. I see ya. Oh my goodness. Um, sure. I almost accidentally took uh, Monstro's Lung. So, the very end of the run, after we've been uh, having to kind of scrape and scrounge for every single possible advantage that we can in this run, we get Soy Milk Dead Eye Cricket's body in the chest. Because, again, this game is, if anything, not ironic most of the time. But we still gotta, we still gotta do the full clear now. I don't know. I don't know where this run was was hiding at the beginning. This is for one of those. The, this is for the people who, in the mosh pit who. Uh, well, they're usually not in the mosh pit, but the people who skip ahead of the of the videos just to see if we win or not. Like, oh my god, why did it take you so long? Look at that build. No, 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 no. You you had to you have to be here. That's what these videos are really for. These these videos are they're part they're part trolling gallery. I'm just seeing how bad the game can get. And they're also just part, like, it's about the journey. It is, it is telling the story of a journey. I'm not saying that, like, you know, these Isaac episodes, these Eden runs are the equivalent of, like, say, the Lord of the Rings. But I'm just saying if if I did have my own, my own Samwise here, we would be marching into Mordor trying to take care of the One Ring. That's all I'm saying. Uh, see, it's too late for that game. Had you given me the opportunity like 30 minutes ago, I definitely would have. But now, now you, you you soiled it. Oh my gosh, that is just... Especially with Backstabber and Soy Milk now, like... I'm actually, I'm actually sad and a little, a little mad actually that we, we get such an amazing end to this run that we've really gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the game for this entire time so thank you for watching everybody it was a run that we really had to scrape and scrounge and uh you know don't let th this is not where the ends justify the means here you those of you who didn't skip ahead and you saw this entire run you know exactly what we had to go through what we had to do but i am very happy about those uh, sacrifice room plays definitely the big time play of the entire run made it possible and thank you for watching thank you for liking commenting and subscribing everyone your question of the episode today is going to be what is your weekend plans and isaac specifically are you playing isaac are you doing unlocks what characters are you having problems with what characters have you been completing post them in the comments down below i love to hear how everyone's isaac uh, save files are progressing and thank you again everyone for just supporting me i really appreciate it i hope you have a great start to your weekend and as always i will see you all next time until then so long everybody
Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like James Moeller, Barman1988, and Der Plot. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of Isaac's episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.